Welcome everyone to this, I think it's the fifth lesson uh, in using ArcGIS and in this lesson I would like to show you how to use our catalog for indexing and searching your files and also for creating maps uh, as I've done in another video tutorial but uh, it's part of part of getting to know ArcGIS so I would like to present you this as well. So what is done here? So um, normally if you're using a lot of geodata you would like to search for geodata and for your files and for your results and analysis uh, so it is quite important to get a good overview and if you lost this overview over your data you would like to use a search function which, which will not operate on the entirely Windows search but maybe on the on the intelligent search uh, used by ArcGIS what you will need therefore is a so-called index because the index will search in the meta information of your geodata and will create an index over the over the keywords so what you have to do is you have to use this button here the search button and this will create this tiny window over here there you can adjust the search options what I've done here is I've already added the current working folder um, to my search uh, to my search or index world and uh, you have some indexing options like how often you would like to search for new new items and how often you would like to create the whole index for itself new and you can uh, index them by the way and after that or you should you should you should start with index new items as you can see here it was taking about one and a half minute and just press OK. After that you can type in here by searching maybe for data countries and you will get an idea where your data is because it's all, it, it will be um, or it will go to the to this one um, straight away um, and you can search also for Erhard maybe I hope I'm writing it correctly no no oh well let's say flight maybe we'll find something like that flight path yeah so um, this is a search function and what we will do now we will start with the exercise for C to create a new map. Oh, what I've uh, what I have not done is uh, that you can also, of course, um, use the identify button and all that. So there's no problem with that. With that. So what we will do? We will start our map from um, ArcGIS from within ArcGIS. So we will launch ArcMap. And ArcGIS um, gives you the opportunity to um, take a file from our catalog and only drag and drop it um, to ArcGIS. So normally Arc, uh, ArcMap will start with dialog with you. I think I have um, used, uh, well, I didn't use that as a default, so I will now go to File, Open. And in the chapter four, there's data for me. So this is x uh, example zero four c. I'll open it now, and there you have it. So these are the well-known layers: cities, Erhard visited, flight path, countries, and graticle. So um, of course, what we would like to show is where the flight of Emilia Erhard stopped and where the flight paths are diverging. So there is a layer called Flight Diverge and what I will do now is I will rearrange the visibility of that window, maximize ArcMap, go back to our catalog and say Flight Diverge.shp should go over here. So now the SHP was um the shapefile was converted i will add this one as well and remove that one because i'm just interested 
in the path due to the fact that the information is uh, connected with the shapefile we get both information here so this is a layer you can easily correct it it's okay what we will rearrange that so what we will do now is we will open a new layer or you, you can have a look on the layout view so there's this um, preformatted map, uh, map for that let's have a look on the extent so we can go a little bit further into detail therefore what you will need to do is you have to just differentiate between this zooming functions and the zoom in functions on your working area here yeah, so which is an A4 letter or something like that. So what I will do now is I will re or I will zoom in. No, what's done here? What well, you can see now that this uh, thing is um, showing the former extent. So what we will do now is we will open a new or we will add a new layer. Insert new data frame. And this data frame has a special name for now. Or this is just a new data frame and we will add some more uh, information here to that data frame which is the disappearing area bathymetry oh no we are in the chapter 4 so over here so there's this seafloor dot layer to get an idea about the depth of the water And we will um, copy that layer, which we have um, created in the other data frame, to this layer, past layers. So what is done here? So we have the same layer in both data frames. Once again, we can go to the layer view. Well, that was not that. That is not that good looking because we had hadn't arranged. Um, no, that was wrong. Born. See, I've done it as well. So we'll just zoom out. This is the new created data frame, which was uh, given by the green, green uh, rectangle. So what we will do, we will just rearrange the position of that new data frame. make it a little bit bigger and zoom in as well we can also adjust the um, name of it so it's the area of disappearance so we get an easy um we get an easy overview where uh, Amelia out um was disappearing so we can also go into the other layer to rearrange the visibility of the countries. We have to act 
activate that therefore let's zoom out a little bit no so we have created a first map